Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. This is another 2.8 preview covering workspaces in the new default files. But before, let me do File, Load Factory Settings. And now you see that here the icons have changed and up here I got my workspaces. That's because I was using older versions of 2.8 before and some of the things in Blender are stored in the preferences. So if you're like me and using older versions, they did use older versions, try to use file load factory settings to get all the good new stuff. Now let's start uh, with uh, taking a look at those layouts up here or workspaces. They are called workspaces now before they were called um, layouts and they are workspaces because they, they are more than just window layouts. For example, if I go to modeling, you see I'm directly in edit mode. And for example, if I go to object mode here in uh, modeling, then go back to layout and back to modeling, you see I'm back in edit mode. So whenever I go to the modeling workspace, I will be directly in edit mode, which of course saves me a click or a tap into tab. Then sculpting is even more interesting because it's not just that I'm directly in sculpt mode. You also see that um, my, um, the look of my viewport has changed. For example, it has a matcap turned on directly and most of the overlays turned off. So it's not just like um, a custom window layout and um, custom mode. It's also a custom shading for my viewport, which is actually really, really useful. So UV editing, of course, starts in edit mode with a UV image editor open. Then texture paint is in texture paint mode, but I won't show you because uh, my Blender 2.8 always crashes when I'm adding a slot. Instead, let's head over to shading, which is completely new and really interesting. We start here in look dev mode up here in our viewport. Down here, we have um, shading nodes for EV or cycles. Up here there on, on the left, on the bottom, there is an image editor. But the interesting thing is up here, that is a um, file browser. And now let me go somewhere where I do have um, a few textures. And let me click and drag one of those textures directly here into the shader editor, into my node tree. And then uh, I, a node is automatically created. Let me connect this and voila, I got a texture applied to my object. So. Really simple, pretty easy, and um, really nice new workspace. Then animation might be a bit controversial because um, it no longer features the F-curve editor. It only features the dope sheet by default. And I heard that's because most of the pros use either the dope sheet or the graph editor, but never both at the same time. So you will have to switch back and forth or Pro tip, if you want to have both at the same time, up here we still have the preview and we could like turn the, put the graph editor up here. Then um, rendering is also pretty interesting. I mean, it's just basically the, um, mostly the image editor and uh, timeline, but we, uh, you see here in the image editor, the properties are open and we see now that render slots and scopes are both in the properties of the image editor now. Pretty interesting. Then compositing is kind of odd. Up here we have our composite nodes, but down here we only have the dope sheet. Um, I don't know why um, it's designed this way. I don't know the rationale, but if you know, please leave a comment below this video. I'd really like to know why they designed it this way. And by the way, the workspaces are not fixed yet. There's still a discussion going on, so things might still change up until the end of October. Now, scripting is very much like the old scripting layout, but down here we now have the um, history, which beforehand was really small and um, up here completely at the top. And now let's see what's behind this plus, because there's still a little a bit missing. I'll skip over to the animation, I'll show that later. And we also have here visual effects, I'll show that later as well. And we have video editing. Now let me turn on video editing. Now we get a new tab and the um, video editor layout or workspace now also features a properties panel and um, a file browser. What's missing now by default is the F-curve editor. I guess I'm not the only one who only used it very, very rarely. So those are the workspaces, but there is also another thing and that is when we go file new, we also have templates for template, template project. Um, 
or no new default files. For example, if go file, new, video editing, you now see that I'm also starting in the video editor and up here only video editing and rendering show up by default. I can get all the other workspaces by uh, using the plus sign, but by default, I only have those two. So a uh, very clean interface if I want to do only video editing or I can do file new and then sculpting. And there you might see why this is actually also um, even better than um, the workspaces because if I go to sculpting, I'm not starting with a cube that's not subdivided. I'm starting with a heavily subdivided sphere. So I can actually sh start a sculpting right away. Or if I do file a new 2D animation, I'm directly here with a 2D grease pencil object and I can do all my grease pencil fun starting right away with it. By the way, I'm not a 2D animator, so let's keep this abstract and move on. There's also file new and that's visual effects. That, well, that's the one I wanted to show you last. And now you see the two one that were missing beforehand, uh, motion tracking and masking are up here. The motion tracking is actually quite uh, similar to the old uh, motion tracking layout, but uh, it's a little more clean and all in all, I think a little um, better organized. And then there is masking, which is new. I mean, we had the mask mode before, but here we'll start directly in the mask mode. And so we can like, um, down here we can um, add our clip, start masking things, um, edit up here, edit the um, animation of the mask and up here there we directly have a node editor where we can like preview what uh, we, we do with the masks directly. So um, really uh, it really makes sense and you see that developers put a lot of thought into it. And so what I'd like to hear from you is, um, do you like the new workspaces or um, did you like the old layout system better? Is there any workspaces of a space where you think, oh, maybe the old one was cooler or are there any workspaces where you think, hey, that's way better than before? Please leave your comments down below in this video. And if you like this video and want other people to see it as well, please share it and um, like it. And in case you want to hear more about Blender 2.8, of course, subscribe to this channel. And as always, do try this at home. That means th down in the description of the video, there is a link to the latest Blender 2.8 builds. Bye bye.